back to the round one stable. It's your boys. time oh for the longest time if you say goodbye to me tonight bum, 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 bum. there's 104 days of summer vacation Phineas and Ferb shit was bopping shit what's going on welcome back to is around lunch table episode 47 uh, I think so. Yeah, something like Dude, that. Dude, we're almost to 50. 50. 50 Dude, beans. we got to do something. We got to do something for Shit, 50. we got to do something crazy like that ring you're rocking. That's pretty crazy. Shit. Just so, want smile, I can point to my so what, so what made you rock the ring? I found it on nice. the ground. Nice. <laughs> it's a real, it's a real like in our house from the party. Oh. I thought you just been like out in the streets. Like, no, I'm just <laughs> walking the fucking Safeway. <laughs> a ring! <laughs> Is it the one? <laughs> it's like Bilbo and the Rings. Oh, look. A ring. Just puts it on. Wow! <laughs> Oh no! But um, yeah, uh, first and foremost, want to thank our sponsor, Aperture Oceans, bringing ideas and ads to life. Sorry, my bad. I fucked it up. To life. Um, yeah. Also, want to uh, shout out the Patreon, patreon.com slash run lunch table, get episodes pretty early and uh, um, <laughs> exclusive content shit like that. By the way, we need to do a shout out to uh, Travis. Um, Travis Scott. Cactus Jack sent us? Yeah, Cactus Jack is a sponsor of this episode, as well as Stormy. <laughs> um, the, uh, Rise and shine. <laughs> I forgot about that. Remember when she tried to, like, fucking... Make shirts out of it? She probably made money on it, honestly. She tried to, like, copyright it or something. Or trademark Rise and Shine. It's like, no, you can't. Do yeah, that. that's fucking... That, that's the sun saying from the Jimmy Dean commercial. That's um, yeah, that's an old saying. You can't really just Raisin decide. Bran. You know, he had the scoops of raisins, the sun. Anyways, um, the... Uh, Shout Is that out. true that Indians aren't afraid of height? <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that true? I thought so. I Where thought did you even what, read that? Because I believe that in the skyscrapers, <laughs> like when they were building them, if you look at old pictures, it's always Indians, and they just be sitting. No. Up, they just be sitting up there eating a ham there sandwich. Was a bunch, I think I feel like there's a wide variety of people up there, oh, but they yeah. were sitting up there like just eating their PBJ. Like, oh, by the way, if I laugh too hard and fall off, I'm fucking dead. Yeah. I feel like they just like to tangle toe to toe with death. Honestly, it probably yeah, it probably was a little thrill seeking. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, shout out Travis. I think it's I don't remember his last name, but a fan of ours. He sent us a video of uh. So the first animal has been killed due to the podcast. So we do want to uh say a few. Did you see that on Instagram? No. Well, okay, the thing is, if you read it, then it it, oh, it goes yeah. the notifications okay. on okay. all the. So other ones. we want to take a moment of silence for this bird. Um. He got it. He has a. He has a dash cam and he was listening to our podcast and really you what could a story. hear our voices i think it was you me and jordan you could hear jordan like nang, 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 whatever the fuck jordan says and then the, it goes what and then fucking just smacks the bird and he sent it to us so we just wanted to pay Wait, there's the bird getting splattered on the video yeah i gotta see this yeah Hold it's on, on there yeah it's with the travis kid he actually Hold ended up sending us 1080p footage and a link <laughs> but you can just do the instagram <laughs> you want to see it in high def Oh my god, there it is. Yeah. No fucking way. <laughs> no way, bro. Yeah, you can hear our yeah, you gotta play. You can hear our shit. And you can hear the thunk. You can hear the thunk. I'm gonna play it right now. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, you gotta play it one, fucking one more time, one more time. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro! That was that an owl. It looked like it. I it was big. It was, a, it was a big bird. <laughs> big, big B, big B. It was a big bird. Yeah. So rest in peace to that. What was the guy's name? Travis. Travis Adela Hunt. Shout out to that guy. Uh, yeah. Shout out Travis. I believe he actually lives in Spanaway or something like that. He invited us out for beers. So we'll have to oh, that's the that. same guy. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, fucking well, let's do the thing. Yeah. Hopefully we can kill some more birds. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, a uh, lot of stuff in current events. Uh, one of our, we are big fans of the old Chappelle dog, the sea dog. Uh, you know, he's on blast, you know. Um, I think he likes being on blast. Oh, yeah. It's kind of his thing. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the transgender community is not, not a big fan of him. Not a big fan. But... Uh, didn't you read a thing, something about the baby? What was up with that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me just read this. Uh, honestly, this was not a part of anything we're going to do tonight. I just saw this on Instagram. I thought like, just the way it was worded. Before we press record. Apparently, there's a fucking CEO of the LGBTQ, M-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. Um, 
The CEO, is that a self-given title? I know, that's what I was thinking. That's um, chief executive officer of what? what oh, are you? it refreshed. Now it's going through. Oh no! Wait, hold on. I know. I know. Oh, what, no. I know what account tweeted it. I think or Instagram did. Or okay. No. Um. Yeah, I found it. Okay. Okay. Just the way it was. Wor- I never expected. this So for thing. those of you who don't know who the baby is, remember he's, he? He's a rapper. He at, everyone that, knows who that is. Um. It was at the Rolling Loud thing. He made like a homophobic comment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Honestly. It was a little overboard. I will say. <laughs> what did he? Say? I don't even see it. What did he say? Yeah. It, yeah he said something about. He did say AIDS or something. He said say, but he it was actually a little. It was a little, was too, a little far. It was a little far. Okay, I was a little gotcha. far. But anyways, gotcha. so the CEO for Relationship Unleashed, Gwendolyn D. Clemens, told TMZ <laughs> that her nonprofit has co-signed to Baby's recent performance as the New York installment of Rolling Loud. This comes after she confirmed that the Baby sat down with her organization, and other LGBTQ groups, and educated himself on why his homophobic comics were problematic. Imagine being just like a thug. And then, this guy like, killed someone. He killed somebody, yeah. And he has to sit down with transgenders and in a room and just be like... Well, it's the whole... It's everybody. But yeah, um, I'm, oh, it's, I'm, I'm it's sure the it's... the L, the G's, the B's, the yeah, T's, I'm, and the Q's. I'm sure it was okay. like a... It was just a good PR thing, probably. It's like, you well, know, Yeah, he had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, he didn't want to get canceled. Now that the CEO said he's free, it's kind of like a pardon from the king, you know? Yeah, it's like you're free to go. Yeah. Do you think that, like, at gay bars that... But, like, are, that, are they shocked that just... A hood dude is homophobic. Who literally like, kills come on. people? Like he's like he someone, killed someone right? in a Walmart. Mm-hmm. Which is weird how we all know that, but he's not in jail. That's also well, strange. Well, the thing you can look it up. I'm pretty sure though, because he had his daughter with him. Actually, it was like a self defense thing. Oh, it was okay. Well, yeah. and that's not that hard. I mean, well, he we still killed somebody in Walmart. I mean, if someone breaks into our house and you know, I'm grabbing the blicky and pop pop, but at a Walmart in a public place, you're like, <laughs> how did he kill him? Like he shot him. Oh, he had the blicky on deck. That's what I'm saying. Like, Damn, who brings a blicky strapped. to Walmart? I guess, you know, keep an eye out, you know. I mean, it is Walmart. <laughs> you know, anything can happen yeah, in that fucking place. if you ever want to see fucking tits and an oxygen tank on the same person. Just like <laughs> Reno. Sam Morrell. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Have you, been, have you ever been to Reno? I haven't. I feel like that's the poor Las Vegas, right? I don't... I mean, for <laughs> as far as I'm... I mean, I went... I used to go there every summer. For, for baseball. For base, for and at least that ex- that was fucking fun. The Grand Sierra Hotel. That place is nice. There's a fucking huge driving range out the back. There's Ooh, some nice. huge casinos and shit. But I wasn't even old enough to like drink and shit. I still thought it was fun. Yeah, that's cool. But at that age, like, you know, Lava Lanes, the bowling alley was like, dude, this is sick. The neon. It's still sick. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, I still like bowling alleys. I'm saying if I'm going to Vegas, I want, you know, fancy shit a little bit. You know, like I want some, you know, top tier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm that's I'm saying Reno was like I've just heard it was all right, but I've heard it, there's it's mixed. It's a mixed review. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like when you meet her sister and you're hoping she's hot, but it's kind of like eh, she's 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 all right. You're just like I hope she's not hot, hotter than her. Yeah, who I'm with. Yeah, because then <laughs> then you chose the wrong one. It's like I should have came to the family dinner first and you know gotten a a pick. That's fucked up. Do you remember like back in the day, like you know like a prince would ride in or something, and then you know he'd fall in the person's farm or whatever, and then. You know, he'd do some great deeds. He would fall at their farm. I don't know. Anyways, he ends up at like this ranch or something. And the dad has like six daughters. And then he proves himself. So he just gets his pick. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> being like that girl. It's like, hey, by the way, this guy at the gate, he's going to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's already been arranged. You're fucking 13. He's 30. But, you know, the lifespan's but 32. But it's just weird because so. it's actually really interesting. Back then, I'm just saying the way they did that was in position of power. It's like, okay, if I get my daughter in here mm-hmm. then i have immunity you know it, it, yeah. was, it was all chess it was chess yeah it was it was pussy with chess yeah because they respected families back then now it's like you know my i mean i don't know if they respected like, them they pillaged and raped everybody but yeah I mean, i'm saying I don't know like if respect. they respected the oh that's my daughter-in-law or my brother-in-law yeah but that, yeah and that was the whole point it was all strategy for like alliances nowadays you have a stepdaughter and a stepson you already know what's going on i mean what's going on uh Seen a lot of PH, haven't you? No, I'm just saying <laughs> that's like the number one porn thing out right now. It's just fucking, what you know? What are you doing, step bro? Like, I mean, I don't think that constitutes the same thing. I think it's a fantasy thing, yes. But I'm saying there's got to have been some. Oh, I'm sure there has. Oh, I'm sure there has been. We have a visitor. Yeah. Hello. There's our there's our intern. Um. So yeah, I mean, I would say that <laughs> he just sits in front of the fucking camera. Dude, what a rat. He knows. He definitely knows. Um, pause for a picture because he's a, oh yeah <laughs> he's just looking up like he's oh, wait, wait, okay he's looking at the camera 
There we go. Okay, there we go. We got a picture. No, okay. I, I would say that there's got to be like, you know, everyone, you know, has gone down the path of porn. At some point, you're like, oh, I'd like to try that. You know, I'm just saying I don't have any step siblings, but I'm guessing <laughs> that. <laughs> That's probably a good thing, I guess, <laughs> yeah. in this case. I'm saying like, you know, people want to try things. But you know? also, both side of them note, side note, side note, that. side note. No, there's no one who's, it's very, it's very rare that like that happens. Like, okay, my dad got married to someone else and then your stepsister's just hot. That's a very rare yeah. thing. Or like vice versa, you know, oh, it's only choosing only one of them. Yeah. And then the other one's like, oh, that person's repulsive. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. And I mean, having to spit game to, you know, and you also, here's the thing in in a realistic situation, (laughs) I, I feel like that it's not something that's planned or happens over time. I feel like it just happens and you're just like, whoa, whoa, but there's a lot of buildup. I would think, you know, a lot of, what do you, what do you think Oliver? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of variables there. I just feel like it was never a thing that it's not like your step. Hey, my steps are down. We've been talking for a month. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I don't know. So if they get married, then their parents are brother and sister in laws. Then, huh? But I'm not my. Isn't there a way to be your weird. own grandpa? You ever heard that song? <laughs> I'm my own grandpa. No, you know I don't I mean? think that's legal. No, it's like, but okay. Here's the thing. I remember in like sixth grade, our teacher played that song. Like, oh, this is funny. You can be your own grandpa now. But the first line of it was like your brother or like. Your what uncle song has to this? like marry your daughter or something, so it's just fucked okay, from the. Well, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, it's like we're in a Christian school here. Like, I don't know how that works. Um, another thing I want to bring up today, I think we might have touched on. I don't remember. Uh, did you see Megan Trainer? Um, what's going on there? No. Um, I don't. I don't follow her push notifications. No, I yeah, I have her notifications on. No, uh, it was all over the uh, social meds. Um, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, she has a toilet for two did you see that you a did, tandem toilet you you didn't see this no. okay so apparently so it's a side-by-side I'd imagine not not like a, <laughs> <it's> a side <laughs> by side. not like a roller coaster mine is, honey we got this together it's like a robot you're shitting or like what's going yeah, on you hold the other person's legs the thing is what well okay why so, would you want that so i'm gonna explain it so she apparently like got this house like remodeled redone and she purposefully asked for the tandem toilet like, next to each other this is one piece it's like Two bowls, but connected then, to the same base. Yeah, wow. But they kinda That's like, I've never heard of but that. But like, you know, like say this is the bowls. They kind of overlap. For who? Her husband and yeah. Her? So she was saying, "Hey, honey, you want to take a shit with me?" So she was saying that the reason she did it was so that if they both have to pee at the same time, and since they have a kid, they can like watch the kid or something together. But wait, wait, isn't the point is, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay, you watch while exactly. I go to the bathroom. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> it's very strange. Um, Creative solution. Let's take him into the show. She also said that they did decide to poop together once. And they won't be doing it again. Laughed about it and they don't do it. Now they just pee. Yeah, I'm sure. Because if, as funny as it is, it's like, okay. Have listen, you ever been? Have you, I, okay, listen. I actually look forward to it sometimes. It's like I want, I want some peace and quiet. Oh, I thought you meant looking forward to peeing, pooping with another woman. No, <laughs> I, like, I look. I look forward to it. Sometimes. No, I'm saying when you. That's that's. Just let me that's get a whiff your, of that's that. That's your sanctuary. <laughs> that's your sanctuary. Yeah. No. Um. Have you ever have you ever pooped with a woman? <laughs> no, I never have. <laughs> or have you ever been in the bathroom while she's pooping? I don't think so. I haven't either. And the thing is, I don't want to. Unless like, one snuck in while I was in the shower and took a dump. I don't oh know. yeah, that that's risky business. You know, like a fart in the shower. You know, scene, you know that's you know that's <laughs> so much worse. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Why is that? You know that scene in Shameless. Have you watched Shameless? No, I've seen. She's so like much. taking a shower, and she just hears him. She's like, "Oh my god, are you really taking a dump right now?" He's like, "Yep, like clockwork every morning." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, like the like if you rip one in the shower, you know, like it's just it's pungent. It's why is that? Okay, here's the thing. I tend to not do that. Oh. so I don't always fart in the shower. You're saying you never fart in the shower. But I'm saying, but now, after I'm grown up now, I've experienced things. Yeah, I don't do it I anymore. now stay away from certain things I know yeah. that aren't pleasant. Yeah. You just do it? Oh, let's get it. Let's, let's see yeah. what this is. <laughs> let's just turn the heat up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just hotbox myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, speaking on, oh, I have another story. Speaking on, you know, watching like you know, porn or something and like wanting to try it, not realizing it's weird. There was a dude I went to high school with. Um, and he was, he was a little interesting. Wait, time out. Oh. I'm getting a phone call from a original ATL team member from high school. I'm going to put him on speaker here. He probably wants to talk fantasy. This is Brandon Badiato, original member oh, of ATL team from middle school. It's about 
time. Hey, listen, Brandon, you're on live with ATLT. You got anything to say about the fantasy trade? <laughs> well, about what? About the fan? I, I'm assuming you're calling me like a pushy car salesman about the fantasy fantasy trade. Well, no, I just wanted to make sure you're doing all right because that wasn't it. <laughs> now that he's live, no, seriously, what do you need? What do you want? Well, I have two things. All right, spit it. First, did you listen to my voicemails? Your voicemails? No, because I knew it was going to be stupid. Multiple? <clears throat> yeah, I left multiple. Jobs. I actually didn't even know you left any. I didn't mean to interrupt your podcast, but I just wanted to say, like, since you started that, you've changed, and it, I, I just you just don't talk to me as much, and I think we need to figure that out. The only reason you started calling me is because you want Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you here. Hey, Brandon, there's also been, like, 10 weddings you were invited to. I haven't seen you there. Yeah, I haven't seen any weddings, but um, Brandon... You know, as an ATLT alumni from middle school and, you know, back when, um, is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? that I mean, you were here. You were here in the beginning. I'm going to say this. I've known Isaiah since seventh grade, and I remember the first day he walked into school, he was the only darker-skinned kid in our class. <laughs> and I can tell you this much. I accepted him, and no one else did. The teachers didn't even like him. <laughs> but I opened my arms, and I said, this kid, even though he's darker than the rest, he's got a big heart. And I think Jack sees that, and I think people around the world see it. <laughs> and that's what's important, because we're, we're all about diversity. And, you know, you changed that school. The first brown kid to go through that school, you changed it. <laughs> first one to graduate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did with flying colors. No matter what sins you committed at that school, you you, you paid your dues. And... I did. That's all, that's all that counts. But I didn't mean to interrupt. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, if you could look at that trade, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to my secretary get that sent over. Okay, well, thanks. All right, see you. All right, bye. Bye. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, God. He actually, around the lunch table started, by the way. For you who don't know the foundations of this Give um, us a history lesson. LLC. Brandon Body, the guy that just called. We met um, early days of middle school, and we always used to get around the lunch table at lunchtime. And then it went all through all those years of middle school, went all through the years of high school. And then by high school, it's like, hey, we're on lunch table today, boys. And it's, it just became an everyday thing. Well, I think Cody made it up, though, right? Yeah, no, we fucking <laughs> didn't, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, check out the PS podcast whenever that comes out. Um, I, don't, I think they're already... Uh, actually, I don't have no idea. Fucking, but, um, anyways. But um, yeah, so... I don't did remember you know Kung Pao chicken isn't actually like used in Chinese cuisine? I heard a lot of Chinese food. Like orange chicken? I don't think that's one either. That's more of an American Chinese blend. Yeah, I've also heard that like they tend to like... Have you ever been to like a real Chinese place where you can't read the fucking menu? Yeah, actually I have. I've been there and I just like was like, oh, how about that? And it was like chicken feet upside down in like a <laughs> stew. I was like, I'm in the wrong place. And everyone's looking at me like, what's this round eye doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you just chose something like it's fucking Russian roulette? Well, I went there with a customer and I didn't know because it was all Chinese symbols. You just... Because it was like they brought the carts around and then you just choose shit off the little card you have. I'm just saying, but if I, I had gone to those, but like it was like, hey, is there any like lo mein or chow mein's on here? No, just, they didn't speak with. English at all. Where were you? Chinatown? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that in, makes sense. I was in Chinatown then. in Seattle. I delivered a bus there. I thought they still kind of... I'm saying that was authentic. That was... You, you know, know what would be sick is if like we learned Mandarin and then went over there and fucking... I would love to. You know, I tried and failed. I tried a lot of things. It's one of those things you got to stick with for a long time. Yeah, and I just, you know... You ever, I, seen that? you ever seen that guy on YouTube? It's like this white kid and he can speak like... I don't even know how... He goes... He can speak Nigerian. He can speak all the... And he goes to like... Conversational Chinatown. Swahili. Yeah, and he, yeah, he goes to all these places and he pretends he can't... And then he speaks and they're all like, it's crazy. I'm like, how do you know so many fucking languages? And he's Jeez. like self-taught. He taught himself all these. I'm like, wow. It's a lot of... Yeah, when I got laid off for a month, I mean, I was working on the guitar, I worked on the fucking Chinese, and then when I went back to cooking. work... Yeah, and fucking now... Nope. Back in the old grind. Oh, I did hear something today. Do you know turtles, when they hibernate, they actually breathe through their ass? <laughs> um, no, 100%. Uh, like a periscope in a submarine, but with yeah, oxygen? Yeah, but because we can kind of breathe through our asses, right? You know, you do that kind of like downward dog thing. And you can. You know what I'm talking about? No. No, a human can kind of like inhale. Hey, oh, that's not breathing. 
I'm just saying it's going to your lungs. That's like that's like a girl. It's like stick me, stick me, stick me. That's like a girl being. Oh, I queefed. That means I could breathe through my pussy. That's what? that's not how they that works. It's just air. You can smoke through a pussy. <laughs> Bill Clinton did, ask, Bill let's Clinton, say ask Bill Clinton. Yeah, he put it in her fucking... It's all hearsay. Do you really think that... Bill this Clinton w- admitted that he put a, a fucking Cuban in her fucking... Yeah, he probably admitted a lot of shit. Do you re- are you really he probably meant a little Cuban Do you really boy. think that this coochie smoked a Cuban? <laughs> that's just like... That's what I'm saying. That's not how it worked. Maybe there was uh, some in there, but I'm saying that's... It didn't go just go... <laughs> French inhale. Blow some O's. She's blowing, just, she's blowing O's. Her legs like... French inhales into the butt. <laughs> Dude, but no. Bill, I'm just saying that's not how it works. It's not. It's just. Air. Have you ever put a cigar in a in a woman's hoo ha? No. Who keeps that in their repertoire? Bill Clinton. That's not something it's you make Bill up. Bill Clinton. Who the fuck? The president of the United States, the most respected man. He's like, oh yeah, I put a fucking cigar in her schnitz. Let's put a tab on respected. Okay. I'm saying. Uh, I'm not saying Bill Clinton. I'm saying the position is a very respected position. Yeah, I'm just saying. Exactly. Hence why you probably do more crazy shit because you're the fucking president. You do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, dude. If I'm president for a day, I am doing dude, if so I was much president, blow I'm off the grocery- that desk. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm the president, I'm walking to grocery stores pushing old ladies over because I can. Dude, if I'm in the White House... Okay, dude, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing I'm that. I'm grabbing like a fucking... General custard sword and just doing a line off of it, dude. What I'm <laughs> just chopping up a <laughs> no, line I'm of the gra- fucking sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing like some fucking Civil War muskets and shooting cans in the Oval Office, dude, with like a thing of brandy. No one can stop you. I know it's like Mr. President, Mr. President, get the fuck yeah. out of here, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Do you ever think some weird shits happen? Like fucking Obama just gets drunk as piss one night. They're just like Obama, don't. And there's a red button. Oh, like they just say Obama, <laughs> <laughs> Barack, <laughs> Barack. <laughs> They probably don't call him that. What do they call him, sir? But here's the thing. I'm sure... I mean... We are now Air Force One. Uh, that doesn't... That probably doesn't happen. The only person that probably did do shit like that is probably Donald Trump. He didn't give a fuck. Uh, do you ever think they have like... Where's Abraham Lincoln's musket? <laughs> I need it. I'd like to go to the Kennedy sex tunnels. <laughs> Can you tell the chef to make me some lasagna? <laughs> for Melania. <laughs> lasagna. Melania. <laughs> now, that dude probably fucked around did a dude, lot of shit. that dude... I mean, he used to grab him by the puss. I, mean, I like... It was funny. It, it's that guy is a prime example of he finished the mission. He's just doing all the side quests in life. Oh. <laughs> he literally might as well be president. Which, he just literally was like, "Fuck it, I'll be president." Yeah. Hillary worked her whole fucking life to get there, and this random slapdick walks out and be like, "Okay, I'll do it." And they, all yeah. <laughs> I mean, he fuck. did some, dude, even the last day. He just signed all these bills and just yeah. like, "Fuck it, Lil Wayne, <laughs> fucking Kodak <laughs> Black." Hey, respect. He's, he's like, free, "Hey, I got free, you." He's free wheezy. Yeah. yeah, he's like, "Hey, you know, ZZ." That was kind of a like dope a fucking song. environmentalist comes in. Hey, I have this ten billion dollar bill to save all these dolphins. Yep, yep. He's just <laughs> signing fucking everything. Executive order sixty six. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, he was a piece of shit. Biden, did you see, you know, the... He's falling asleep in board <laughs> meetings. He's, he, he's falling, talk. he's falling out of the shower from his dog chasing him. Like, I was chasing him. Can you picture puppy. Biden? Ru- why are you running naked? You're like 79 or 80 years old. He was running old. after like a little freaking cu- I know, Cuban just, boy or something. <laughs> I'm just it was saying. was a dog. It's just... <laughs> It's just it's 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 a fucking it's mess, a fucking dude, shit like, show out there, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say like if I was president, I would want to have. Isn't good it intentions. fascinating that it's just there's so many in laws and such things like that you have you can't be a certain age to do this or you have to be a certain qualification to do this. But to be president, you just have to have a brain. If you're in politics, it's like there's no test like to drive a car if you can't see very well. You just have to get the vote of people if that even matters. I'm just saying, like, I'm I'm sorry. Listen, I'm not saying I condone Trump. I'm just saying I don't... Tr- fucking Biden's not a winner either. No, they both suck. Dude's falling asleep like a grandpa in church. Have you, have you ever seen the when he's like at a press meeting? He's like, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> where were we? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, dude, how many perkies are you on right now? <laughs> Get a fucking you ever hear this shit about Trump? It was fucking like... Dude's like an Adderall addict, and then there's fucking. Meth you ever on see top that? Of- you ever see that speech? He's talking, and a white BB flies out of his nose. I'm like, dude, that's fucking Adderall BB, dude. I'm not kidding. Have you seen it? It's a fucking buckshot and of that. He's and someone and someone slow motions it, and he's just like, and it looks like it's. Like, they slow mo it, and it literally looked like I was looking at a fucking like a video on planet Earth of them looking at a shooting star, just like, and they have it highlighted as it goes out. I'm like, holy shit, that's an Adderall BB. It's like one of those shitty fucking videos of a UFO on a shitty camera. You gotta circle it. Do you remember that when that happened? The fucking Navy said, there's UFOs. Everyone's like, oh, okay. Well, we're going through COVID. Like, everything's fucked. It's like a weird time to release that. It is fucking weird. 
Have you ever thought that, like, I'm not necessarily the aliens, like, what? Okay, this is a weird thing. I read okay. this thing. This is this is a really weird concept. Okay. So, y'all, the stereotypical aliens in the books, like the small, big heads, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I read this thing. It's like, okay, well, where did the people come up to draw them like that then? Mm, like, that's yes. interesting. I don't know if it's like that, but do you ever think that, like, there's <laughs> other humans, other places? That's what I was thinking. There was, there was this thing in, like, Arizona where these people who looked like that came out of this capsule, 100% documented. And they kind of looked like that, but then they realized it was like fucking like Russian experiments or something. They were actually kids. It was pretty sad, but they they thought it was a fucking like oh my it was God, like we found dude. fucking aliens because they were so fucked in the head. But I think uh, I also read that that's what we are going to evolve into if you believe in evolution. Is that because like technically we're already cyborgs to some people? <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> Fuck God. <laughs> oh, you said was... that so serious. <laughs> we are. Can I explain myself? No, no, you can't. I get to explain myself. You're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> We're already cyborgs. Uh, okay, dude. We have. You sound like fucking Alex Jones right no. now. <laughs> um, I can't wait to hear this. Okay, one, dude. it's because <laughs> We're technically cyborgs. <laughs> no, we are because we have our fucking phones in our pocket, dude. What the it's, fuck? Okay, l- listen to me. I don't know if that constitutes a cyborg. <laughs> okay, a cyborg is basically... Aren't they like, things that... They're, but they have like laser eyes and okay, shit? Okay, they don't have to be like permanently attached to you. That's not what it is. We have an extension in Where which... Where did you find this information? Elon Musk said it on the Joe Rogan podcast. Okay, That's where I got okay. it from, okay? And it's basically like... <laughs> it's still funny. This funny. fucking phone in our pocket, it makes us smarter in f- fucking five seconds. We can find out anything we want to in the world and all this other shit, right? <laughs> but it only makes us smarter if we grab it and look at it, not if it's just on us. Yeah, so the and... bandwidth is slow to your fucking brain, but again, it is something that we all have on us. So if it's implanted in my arm, then it's fine. Like, so if you have a compass on you, does that make you a cyborg? Because technically, if you're surviving, it makes you smarter to know which way is north. I guess. I mean, yeah. we gotta look. We gotta look at the. De- we gotta look at the definition. Oh my god! I don't. Bro. Okay, I'm not a fucking cyborg advocate over here. For I'm not the CEO of cyborgs. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes what sense. What the fuck is going on here, man? Oh my Dude, are you saying god. it doesn't make no, sense? No, I'm saying it, it does make sense. I'm saying it does, but it's so technical that like it can't even. It's not that technical. It is. You it's are like, cause te- uh, 10,000 times cause, smarter with that thing in your pocket, yes, are you not? Yeah, but only if I use it. Just because it's there, it doesn't matter. So if you smarter. have a laser eye and you don't use it, you're not a cyborg? But that's I'm Only if that's, I use it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Only if I use it to cut down a fucking major city. That's such Link. a fucking stupid term, a cyborg. <laughs> okay, fine. A- I haven't heard that since I watched fucking Treasure Planet. Great movie. Um, no, I. You, you would have never seen it if it wasn't for me. Very true. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, the data rate in which we receive the data is yeah, okay, very slow. So, okay, all right, we're, cy- not okay, we're, we're cyborgs. We're cyborgs. <laughs> we're, cyborgs. <laughs> we're reptilian cyborgs. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you breathe so hard? <laughs> How did we get here in this fucking uh, arena? Remember when uh, <laughs> Alex Jones put on the Obama mask? <laughs> yeah, that was fucked up. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. You trying to have sex with me? <laughs> Hey, what's your, <laughs> what's your what's your opinion on the Wisconsin cheese curd? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's a it's a crazy world out there, man. Things are changing. Yeah, I mean, there's cyborgs and reptilians, dude. God, did you ever see the thing of Miley Cyrus where her eye goes? Yeah, okay, I actually have seen that. There's yeah. actually one of Beyonce too. It's crazy. Now, Miley, I don't know if I believe, but Beyonce, I believe. Beyonce, yeah, they like believe they're gods, and I don't fuck with that, but. I mean, did you ever hear that thing about like when she's walking up to a concert, Jay Z won't let anyone look at her. All the staff guards or all the staff and you know fucking security people have to turn yeah, the other yeah, way. Yeah, they also like because they've been at parties and she'd hold snatch people's phones at the title recorder. Jesus, she's a human being. She poops just like us. Or does she? Oh, Kim Jong Un doesn't poop, right? Yeah, maybe That's not. That's crazy. Do people actually believe in that in North Korea? I think that was just from the movie. <laughs> wasn't that, funny when, wasn't that funny when that movie came out and then North Korea was pissed? It's like, oh, and they couldn't release fucking... it in theaters, so we released it for free for everyone on Netflix. I mean, you know, it was kind of. He's a little bit of a wild card. Mm. Our, our our red button's bigger than his. Right, so maybe. That was stupid. Let's taunt the fucking this the Korean psychopath. Dictator. Yeah. 
on Twitter. And then fucking Donald Trump subtweeting him like he's his ex or something. <laughs> like I'm like, dude. And then after that, first president do subtweets. That's insane. He like talks shit about him on Twitter, and then after that, he like texts him, "You up?" Question <laughs> mark. He's like, "Hey man, about those tweets, bro." Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just trying to look good for the boys. And Kim Jong's just like, "Pull up, bro." <laughs> yeah, fucking. Do you see? You, okay, so apparently the World Health Organization released an article. The who? The who? The who? 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 What are you a fucking owl? Um, the uh, the World Health Organization did a uh, a uh. A study, a, a paper, uh, uh, online. What the fuck's that called? What an article? An article. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. Long cyborg day. guy doesn't know what an article. Yeah, is. If I had my phone on me, would have got it. Well, you're a cyborg, so yeah. it's always. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's recording. Um. So they did an article that said, uh, if Elon Musk sold. Oh, I did see that. Two percent of his wealth, which is six billion dollars, which they said would cure, cure world, world hunger, hunger but and he retweeted back. Did you see that? Yes, I did. And he said, come up with a plan and I'll do it. But here's the thing. This is why I think it's interesting. There's been way more than $6 billion yes, given yes, to because world. because there was another article like right, like another one. It's like, okay, taking, it was my, the last year, the year before that, they made $8.4 billion. So if it takes $6 billion to cure it, what did you, they had, do? you had over it. It's just that, I think that's probably why he should ask for a plan. It's just like, dude, okay. It, but think about this. I think he's calling The out. resources needed... How do you even six billion? Like, like I'm saying, you can okay. Let's just say the money's there. Bam. How do you go about doing that? The whole world planes, airdrops. I know. I'm just saying, but like, give every mail everyone a smoke grenade, and then they on their set day they I blow the think, grenade. I don't think there's even uh, like that would take so long. I don't even know if there's a way to actually. Where do is that the hunger? Systematically, at? like it's in Africa, right? Mostly it's, a lot of third world countries. Tons. Yeah, like uh, tons. There's tons. Zimbabwe. No, I'm saying there's okay. places all over the place. Yeah, I know. I know Africa's the big one. Yeah. And then it's like... Uh, um, there's places in India. There's places in Thailand. There's, pla- there's places like all here. These, all, yeah, all these third world countries. Yeah, I'm just saying, how do you even go about... A really long line. <laughs> just line up and take it. <laughs> the, uh, a it's number a di- system. <laughs> it's like in the deli, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you pick a number. No, they just build a bunch of DMVs. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wait in line. Yeah. Get here at 6 a.m. in your tent like it's Black Friday. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I'll make your it. Your life to- depends on it. No yeah. pun intended. I'm here at I'm here at eight AM and I hopefully I'll be home to the barbecue at six. Yeah. Oh, fuck I hate them. going to the DMT. That shit's fucking ass, dude. And there's just uh, <laughs> And it always changes every time you go in there. Like you know, Well, because you don't go in there all it's not fucking it's not TJ Maxx, it's yeah. a fucking DMV. When's the last time you were in TJ Maxx? I don't I'm Did, just using an example as a grocery store. Is or the something. blue light special is that t- no, that's Kmart. The blue. I have never been in Kmart, that's a fact. The blue light special. I've never been in Kmart. Yeah. I like how their mascot was a blue light. What? Oh. What is, playing. what is the worst mascot ever made? I would say the aluminum foil guy, because it was just <laughs> an aluminum foil with eyes. Wait, for who? <laughs> just anything. So it's not a real thing? You're just making up terrible no, mascots? No, I'm saying he was a mascot. For, for like who? Aluminum foil. For the Atlanta aluminum mm-hmm. foils? No, there's just... Oh, aluminum. I thought you meant for like teams. No, <laughs> just like, like a no. fucking mascot. I remember well, like seeing the box. foil, what the fuck else is he going to be? I don't know, a pirate that likes smoking out foil. <laughs> 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 just a homeless guy? It's a homeless guy, guy smoking a crack pills pipe? out of a fucking foil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need to fucking... <laughs> crunch up your fucking perkies i don't know um yeah i don't know that's a tough one but i mean the general's pretty bad the general yeah the general's just obnoxious yeah just right in your face it, ah! nah, right it, look, your it, it looks like general Patton in antarctica in a corvette yeah like, and with he's a penguin. four times decorated where did he where was he at <laughs> yeah. this <is> general eisenhower <laughs> he's in a foxhole on the front lines for the war and class equality yeah, he must be and that's the music we can all dance to <laughs> Remember um, when the general like then then they then they like randomly just like got Shaq as part of their I'm like where the fuck did you come? You think with Shaq the, uses this? I insurance? Know, do you think Shaq uses the general? Yeah, Shaq's I'm Shaq. Fucking, I use the general. Do you think Shaq uses the general insurance? Yeah. No. Also, like, I love how they just have like, um, like a really just like a sports player just like promoting sandwiches or something. He's like, and that's why I always see a subway. <laughs> it's just like, no, you don't. You're a millionaire. You're eating fucking T bones. True, like you don't even. That's like a that's like a break glass well, in like emergency. When LeBron's promoting McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. It's yeah. like you think this dude 
Who's fucking hooping? Like Peyton Manning. Nothing beats that, that new car smell. Meatball sub, it tastes so good. Losing feeling in my toes. But they also probably gave him a fat check for that. It's, that's easy money if you're yeah, there. Yeah, and you know. uh, Papa John's and Peyton were good friends. I learned this in economics. I can't remember what it was called, but when they get like a celebrity or something to endorse their product, it's called a specific type of A celebrity like. endorsement. <laughs> No, I'm just going to... And I'm here you are at the sideboard getting smarter, <laughs> getting smarter, getting smarter. So you wouldn't have known this without your phone, but as, an, as a technological... What's a cyborg? What's the definition? Yeah, I shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's why I need my phone. No, it's just... God. Dude, when Brett Favre went to Wrangler, God, they sold so many jeans. His ass looked good in those. You remember when he's bucking hay and then he yeah, fucking puts, puts the... And then he's playing like pickup ball with his boys in this park. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the fuck? It's like, dude, he's at his mansion just banging bitches. <laughs> Nothing beats that new car smell. Celebrity branding. Celebrity branding. Is that when they brand a celebrity? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's right in their ass. Brett Favre is, you have Wrangler jeans on forever now. I'm going to give you something you can't take off. <laughs> fuck, then there was the... Oh, the sub Jared from Subway. I was about to say that. Didn't he Ooh. rape people? Yeah, lost, lost a lot or of child pounds. pornography or something. I think he was banging kids. Yeah, let's look it up. He was cyborg. Run, he was running the world for a while there. Yeah, I mean, dude, he lost so much weight with Subway. Remember, when he dropped the big pants in front of him. Yeah, good. it was like, dude, and you were like honestly, a size. There wasn't fit. there wasn't a better spokesperson because it's like, okay, this guy also he used to be fat, so it's perfect. Yeah, it's like let's just find a fat guy who lost weight spokesperson. Oh, hopefully he's not into kids. Yeah, sex offender. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to be on that list. Yeah, you know. it's like the Hunger Games. Don't. Oh, he's only forty-four. Oh, well, you know he can beat the Chargers, maybe. Michael Jackson. Yeah, did it. it was distribution of receipt of child pornography and travel. Travel. Traveling to engage in illicit sexual conduct with a minor. So this guy like went to P- Thailand or some shit. Like travel. He Dude, went somewhere. You think fucking Epstein and Jared from Subway were in cahoots? <laughs> what do they even talk about? I'm a I billionaire Wall Street guy. Yeah, I'm the spokesperson for these bomb ass sandwiches. You want Italian urban cheese or wheat? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fucking Epstein is calling fucking Jared from Subway. He's like, "Hey, can you grab me a few sandwiches?" He still receives endorsement money. Damn. Well, not. I guess crime does pay. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the ongoing criminal investigation into the leader of his foundation, Fogel has remained a part of the Subway family, receiving his pretty hefty endorsement money. How does that work? I guess he had a contract or something that child porn wasn't a part of. I his, feel like in any contract, it's like void if yeah, caught with fucking nine, children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd assume so. But it said... Uh, the lawyers. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like void if caught smoking weed, but not caught with children. I know. His tenure came to abrupt end following an FBI investigation that saw him convicted the of FBI traveling to paper was sex on this with guy? money. Yeah, that's how crazy it was. Fuck, Jared, bro. He's still in pre- he's still in federal prison. He won't be eligible for release until 2028. That's not that far. I mean, so we could see Jared on some commercials <laughs> in seven years. He's like, you know what? I'm going to the competition. <laughs> I got hired by Jersey Mike's. <laughs> Jersey Wild Mike's. But yeah, that's actually crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I bet if Epstein and Jared like hung out, he definitely had to grab him like sandwiches on the way, you know. And, Jer- and you know, Jeffrey's like, "Hey, you know, this kid's half off. You get me two Italian urban cheese footlongs." That's so <laughs> fucked up. I don't think Jeffrey Epstein was haggling on subway prices. <laughs> he was like a billionaire. I don't think he was haggling on subway prices. That'd be like him going to the grocery store. Oh, that butter's five ninety nine. I have yeah. a coupon to make it yeah. three. Is, if he, was, if he was like, hey, can you make it a meal? Ooh. If I don't care about that, I doubt a billionaire cares about that. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do they have the, the uh, tea and the bubblers? It's like, no. <laughs> Even worse than the sex crime, Jared Fulco was, staring some, was stealing Subway sandwiches <laughs> with extra provolone. <laughs> the meatball madness. And if it couldn't get worse, Jared Fogel was using the military <laughs> discount. He was in the front lines. Oh, yeah, he fucking was. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Fuck, rest this in is peace. Crazy. Or no, don't rest in peace. Fuck you, dude. He's still alive. How is he still alive? Don't the child people get fucked right in prison? Like they well, get a lot killed. of them get killed. But I'm saying if you're of anyone of importance, you, they put you in solitary. <laughs> guys, confinement. guys, this is Jared from the subway <laughs> we're talking about here. Right? I meant someone who's known. If you're not a, the average Joe, 
if people know you, and he was like the flow progressive girl. Everyone knows who that is. She's not. Everyone knows who that is. She'll get caught for something. She she kind of unsettles me. Yeah, she's got. It's she the, has it's, this weird vibe about her. It's the cherry red lips. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's very okay. Well, it's it's a part of you know the act and everything else. Because she's okay, quirky. Listen, hey, by the way, side note. Yeah. AT and T girl. She's bad as fuck. Yeah. She's bad as fuck. What's her fuck. name? It's Cynthia. Ma- it's Cynthia something. No, it's Melania. Her actual name? It's Cynthia. No, it's not. I think oh, it's Vianthrop or something. Vianthrop? What is that? It sounds like Look a it fucking up. character in anime. AT&T girl. It's going to be like Melania th- I'm, I'm I thought it was like Cynthia, but... I know because I looked it up. Okay, well, <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm just saying I thought that's what it was. Look it up. at t Melena. Melena? Melena Vostokrova? <laughs> but yeah, she's bad as fuck. Damn, yeah. No, she's... She's she, hot. She's, you know... Yeah. It was one of those things that crept up on you. Yeah, it's like, hmm, it kind of grew If on you me. were to do a commercial, like mm-hmm. of all the well-known things that you know personally, mm. what would you be like, okay, I'm fucking doing that? I'd say I'd be a good spokesperson for like uh, the Sonicare toothbrush just because <laughs> I've used it and I, I know that it's good. I already know what I would do. What? The M&M's. M&M's. m M&M commercial. You know, on Super Bowl, they always come up with new ones every year. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably do an M&M one. Do you already have a skit written down? Yeah, I have a skit written down. Well, you got to... Pr- yeah. Do you have a skit written down when you do yours? No, I just know that, like, I don't brush my teeth very long, but for, like, five years, no cavities, teeth look great. Certain people I know use a normal toothbrush, had, like, six, and they brush, like, three minutes well, long. Well, I, I think it's also, like, diet, genetics. There's a lot of variants. And I have right? a great diet. We both know that, so. Yeah, ter- yeah I have a terrible diet. Well, no, so. it's, I'm saying sugar-wise, though. No, I mean, I don't, I don't eat, eat a lot of sugar. I don't eat a lot of desserts and shit. No, I, I don't, don't. You know what I, I mean? Don't. So, like, so, I do sometimes, but. that's it. The fucking thousand pound sisters though. How did they, Tammy Tammy had she went to, she had no cavities? She 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 said she 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 what? she she sold, she, sold, she, sold, she <laughs> went to the dentist, thousand pound sisters, no one's seen it. She went to the Bang dentist and, and told yeah. told <laughs> told the dentist that she brushes her teeth twice a she week. She tries to twice a yeah. week. Yeah. And she had no cavities. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, How I'm guessing it it's just the constant, like, because we don't eat that, like, as much Maybe as she it's does. Maybe as she chews more, everything else gets it's unlodged. It's because it, it just never stops. Yeah, it's an assembly so it's just line just, of the fucking yeah. shit. It's kind of like if a car sits for a while, you know, those fluids, they kind of get, but if the car keeps running, it's just going to keep going, you know? Yeah, I mean, that does make sense. And it's assembly line of just shit. That's great. Yeah. Do you remember that thing? Um, also, side note, Tammy, it was just like she had, like, 16 meals a day. Yeah. How do you eat? I I usually max of three. Sometimes eat like two with snacking in between. I don't. I never eat breakfast, so it's always lunch, and then uh, I sometimes breakfast skip is the most important one to eat. Uh, most important meal of the day. No, I'm, I'm saying it's the most important one to eat. I heard it. Have you ever said? Have you ever he- eaten a good breakfast? And you're like, wow, I feel great. That's why. It's, mm. No, I heard it's because it starts your metabolism up, but also just, so does two glasses of cold water in the morning, which is what I do. Okay, that's not the same thing. <sighs> well, neither of us are. Oatmeal with New blueberries nutritionist in it. Ec- Oatmeal with blueberries in it. Yeah. You know, got a big glass of orange juice. Be good for and in day. October, they're called blueberries. <laughs> All right, we're going to end it there. <laughs> All right, well, that was good. Um, anyways, guys, thanks uh, for tuning in. This was an interesting episode. Honestly, I'm not getting <laughs> a black. I don't remember what we talked about. No, Besides Megan Trainer's two toilets, I don't and, know what the fuck. And uh, we're cyborgs. Um, Jack, where can they find you? They can find me at Jack underscore Spen Z. Where can they find you? Isaiah underscore Leslie on Instagram. Or you can find both of our Instagrams at Around the Lunch Table Instagram page. Um, I think that's all we have for you today. Um, Patreon.com slash around the lunch table episode somewhat early. Um, I'm assuming because it's already November, we're just going to like, cause a fall collection was, was what's the word like, oh, in planning. But then we realized, okay, let's just do the holidays, like the winter. Cause it's about, so that we'll time. put our face on some snowmen or something. And yeah, we'll probably do that. So keep an eye out for that. There's still, um, all the original merch on the site, but fuck yeah, we are. Oh my God. Almost burped or died or shit. And so, sounds like the perfect trio, <laughs> <laughs> the perfect suicide. Yeah. Um, so like you suicide. do understand <laughs> <laughs> why? What I lie? Um, but yeah, I it's imagine still, it's like it's still on the site. Thing. You guys can get that um, Patreon whole nine. Um, Shit. Episode, oh yeah, episode fifty. We're doing something special. By and I also haven't looked at where if we're at five thousand. Wait, hold on. Um, we're, we're we're not. I saw today. Really? Yeah. Um, well, maybe it changed. I do want to say that I just found out we have more Apple Podcast subscribers than Patreons. 
So no shout shit. out for the people subscribing on no Apple shit, Podcasts. It's free. Oh, I see. No, what you're subscribe saying. I see for saying. the episodes a week early. So that's pretty cool. I see. I see a tunnel. But yeah, we're yeah. So anyways. Thank you guys for listening. We will see you next week, and our patrons already get this episode early, but the other ones will see it next week. Yeah. Or not next week. When will it be on the free one? Will it be next week? Is they'll, that when they get this? They'll get it on nor- normal people. Yeah, the, yeah, okay, yeah. The, yeah. The, the nor- fu- normal people. <laughs> the fucking freeloaders get it Monday. Okay, yeah, yeah. Monday. Patreon if you're gets a patron, it you'll already hear it tonight. But anyways, guys, thanks for listening. They'll hear it as they're hearing it. <laughs> as they're hearing us talk. <laughs> and always, thank you guys for listening, and, and see ya. ya. up in here.